All right, here's another variant on that uh, Laser Saber Jewel Ringer 2.0. And uh, I did this uh, based on what uh, Ben was showing. Uh, he's, uh, I think this is right, K4EZP on YouTube. And uh, he uh, knows quite a bit about this stuff and posted some good videos showing the uh, waveform on this uh, simplified uh, jewel ringer circuit and one of the things he did was he instead of going to the 12 volt tap on this Radio Shack transformer uh, he went to the 6 volt tap in the middle and so I decided I would try a either or type of situation here and uh, it worked out pretty good and I got rid of all the capacitors uh, based on what he was showing and just simplified the circuit down using a potentiometer on the base of the transistor and I uh, got it to work pretty good, but what I found out is I could make an indoor high voltage uh, light. And it's an experimental thing, but it has no battery. There's no battery in this. And I just used a variable solar panel, a little tiny thing, that can switch from 3 to 6 to 9 to 12 volts. And I got this at Radio Shack. Or I'm sorry, at Fiber Freight. It wasn't very expensive. And uh, that's the little panel right there. And this little selector, you can select from 3 volts all the way up to 12 volts with a different, um, different amount of uh, amperage. And I found this very interesting. It made like a variable power supply uh, only using the sun. And I'm here in my back bedroom working on my, my uh, bed, actually. But I've got a setup here running. Um, this is that 12 volt Radio Shack transformer that's center tapped. It's a 606, and depending on which one of these leads, you can get uh, 6 out of it or 12 out of it if you hook up 110 on the other side. And we're basically running this uh, in a strange fashion that I showed on that circuit diagram. And here's my voltage right here. And uh, this is running on the 6 volt tap right here. And you can see uh, it's about uh, almost 120 volts. And I have this set up on the 6 volt 100 milliamp setting. And if I touch this little lead here, this neon should come on, and it does. And uh, then my, my amperage uh, or my voltage shows about that. And I can get. Uh, get the neon. If I plug in the uh, LED, this is a 2.5 watt Lights of America, this will come on and it'll drop the voltage down to about 73, 73 volts. That's under load. But uh, I just, it's the uh, interesting thing is this is running off this little tiny panel here and uh, there's no battery, just a capacitor. I'm using a thousand microfarad 50 volt cap uh, to smooth the oscillations out and I'm able to light up this uh, Lights of America two and a half watt LED and it holds that kind of a voltage on it and you're gonna say well what the heck good is that you know why, why would you want to light up a light bulb in the middle of the day <laughs> especially on the inside of your house when you've got solar uh, solar light coming in anyway but I'm finding out that there are people in the world that live in very, very dark places. And they're even uh, using uh, water bottles filled with water and bleach with a hole poked in the roof to bring the solar lighting into their house. And uh, I thought, well, you know, maybe there is a, a usage for something like this that never had a battery in it at all. There would be no battery to replace, uh, just a solar panel and uh, this circuitry using these new LED bulbs to add light into parts of the dwelling that were dark, I mean completely dark, during broad daylight. And there are places in the world where people live in dwellings like that where they don't have any windows. Um, they need some kind of light even during the daylight hours for their house. So anyway, I thought I would just show this uh, to people that this was just an experiment. Uh, this was not trying to state anything but this is an example of an indoor no battery high voltage solar light system and uh, like I say there's the voltage that this is holding 
with this uh, LED light bulb on using just that very, very small pencil next to it, size panel. Uh, this is light coming through a skylight in my house. And I just, you know, when I saw those uh, water bottle uh, lights systems, I thought, gosh, I wonder if you could pick up uh, the lumens coming through one of those light bottles and use something like this to put the light someplace else in the dwelling using a, a light system like this. So, anyway, just uh, my thoughts on this and uh, no conclusions. It was just a very interesting experiment uh, inspired by Ben and what he was showing by using the center tap on this transformer. Thanks for watching.